Hey what's up guys, Nixby one hd here and welcome back to another episode of my F1 2021 My Team um, F1 2021 Sorry, F1 2022 F2 career mode with Christian Lungard. There we go, I've, I eventually managed to get it out But yeah, anyways, welcome back guys uh, Third race, uh, third Grand Prix and it is around Baku in Azerbaijan So we're just going to jump straight into one-shot qualifying. So, drop a like if you're enjoying this series. Make sure you subscribe for more and plenty more uh, F1 co content coming your way. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, um, so yeah. We've got uh, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix today round Baku. So, let's see what kind of... Let's see what we can do in qualifying. Alright then, here we are on the super soft tyres. Let's see what we can do. Oh my gosh, nearly went in the wall there. section oh my god oh come on all right let's give that another try the line p16 ouch okay we've got it all to do in the net in the next two sprint races and in the grand prix so qualifying is complete and we're all set for an exciting race tomorrow your top three are the letter fisker and larim zendeli the grid is set then so that just leaves the race itself join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action and until then 
Goodbye. Yeah, why why do they call Enzo Fittipaldi's in Delhi? Weird. Okay, um anyways, let's get into the first sprint race of the episode. Yeah, really, really bad qualifying. Oh man, we've got it all to do in the race. So yeah, let's get into the first sprint race. Welcome back to Baku. We're on the edge of the Caspian Sea in a bustling, vibrant capital, which once again plays host to the spectacle of Formula Two. <coughs> <coughs> This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. Joining me today is a man who is no stranger to going fast, Davide Valsecchi of GP2 2012 fame. Great to have you here today, Davide. Are you enjoying yourself here in the beautiful city of Baku? Absolutely, Alex. Baku is fantastic. It's so distraught. Have a check. The architecture, the narrow street. Easy to see why it's one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar. But Alex, street circuits can be unforgiving. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a safety car or two out during today's race. All right, let's get into race day. Here we go. Five laps ahead of us. And it is lights out and away we go for the first sprint race in Baku. Oh, oh my gosh. Mate, you... Come on now. You've got to give me space. Gosh. Gosh. Not what we needed. Right, okay, we all gonna get past Dragovic, right. So sorry, mate. Right, let's give that another try. Oh my! Don't know, don't know what he's doing there, delayed her. Outside, no, we, no, we're not. Right, we're gonna go down the inside. Are we gonna get past? That wasn't probably a little bit too aggressive there. Okay, why? done one lap yet oh my gosh no no stop going into right no damage okay cool I'm get past down Ticton come on get on the power Surely we've done it now. We have. Right. So we've got Alessio Delayda up next. Okay. Right. 
this snug shoulder clearing into the castle section. Right, okay. Get on the power, here we go. Right, okay, here we go. We are leading the F2 Championship as it, as it stands. Battling with our teammate, Tio Porcher. David Beckman has just set the fastest lap. Right, let's see if we can close up the gap to Delader. Sector, that's always a good sign. Right, uh, oh my gosh, how we got past that, I do not know. Delayed it with a three second time penalty. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Let's ride on board with him. So, here we are. Why am I overtaking there? Right, let's redo that. Here we go. Right, let's see if we can. Right, let's give that another go. Oh, that one was me purely not paying attention. Right, let's give that another try. Right then. <sighs> Nearly into the back of him again. But if I want to get past it later, I need to get on with it. Oh, no. Don't hit the wall, man. There we go.
Hey, fastest lap, get in. later no not if I'm gonna deactivate DRS right. just give that another go okay here we go with the later but finally we get past him let's see if we can close up the gap to Liam Lawson now and uh I thought I was going to go into the wall again, but thankfully we kept it out of trouble. Here we go, 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 go. either we're in 10th 10th position Lawson just ahead push hard gap to car in front is 2.1 seconds they're on hold super softs Tickton behind you the gap to the car behind is 2.7 seconds they're on hold super softs the gap to the leader is 7.3 seconds look after these tyres now This is not this has been a bit of a messy start to the episode. Hopefully in sprint race two and the feature race I can be a little bit better. <clears throat>
tenth place is about as good as we're going to get but we are going to take home the fastest lap which is which is good David Beckman wins the Grand Prix get driver of the day though which is good brilliant stuff from Kapos today what a superb victory and Davide Valsecchi give me your thoughts how did they accomplish this result I think they kept a full head that's why they were today smooth steady everything bad that happened to them they early Carney and professional. That's what let them focus on getting the best out of everything else. The car, the strategy, they managed to keep out of trouble the world great cars. <coughs> it's time for the <coughs> drivers with their on the team on the podium. As uh, Yuri Vips as well on the podium. So we go. Here's how things look in the drivers' tape. Onto the teams. The ART have extended their lead over the championship. Meanwhile, good work from Campos this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you there. Take care. Well, there we are then, guys. Tio Porcher does overtake us at the top of the standings, so it's going to be really battling with him and our. It's going to be battling with our teammate and Ben Fiscal in the Trident car. Uh, we are top. We are still top of the standings, which is good. So yeah, David Beckman wins the first sprint race. Uh, Tio Porcher second. Yuri Vips third. Ben Fiscal fourth. Oscar Piastri fifth. Richard Vashaw sixth. Liam Zendelli seventh. Enzo Fittipaldi eighth. Liam Lawson in ninth, and we finish tenth. And yet to score points, Dan Tickton, uh, Schwartzman, Aitken, Sato, Dragovic, Daruvala, Guan Yu Zhou, Marcus Armstrong, Samaya, Niasi, Boshong and Delada, um, who who must have had to pick when we overtook him because we did get a warning for a collision with him. But anyways, let's get into the second sprint race of the episode. So yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let's hope we can do a bit better this time. Here we go, second sprint race. Let's do it. Baku never fails to disappoint fans of Formula 2. So hold on tight. The cars are set on the grid. And any moment we'll be starting today's race. Welcome to Azerbaijan. I'm not the only one sitting here today who's looking forward to today's race. My friend and ex-GP2 champion Davide Balsecki next to me is already on the edge of his seat awaiting the start of the event. How's it going today? Hello there, Alex. I'm great, thank you. I'm very excited to get started. I have a feeling we are in for a very special event today. All right, let's get into it. Race day. Starting on pole this time round, okay. Lights out and away we go for the second sprint race. So it's a good start. See if we can keep it nice and tidy into turn one. Very nicely done. Zendeli 
buttoning it out behind us. All I'm focusing on is just keeping it clean and tidy. Through the castle section. Again, we've got five laps in this second sprint race. But yeah, it's been a good it's been a good start to lap one so far. So good. <laughs> Oof. Oh, oh. Almost almost put it into the wall there very very close but thankfully we managed to keep it out of trouble and we just set the fastest lap of the race So Fittipaldi <clears throat> has just set the quickest lap. Wait, where's our teammate? I wonder. You are in first position, front of the pack. Lawson is behind you. Less than a second separate you. They're on old super softs. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Just three laps to go now. Three laps.
Liam Lawson is going to overtake us. Be super aggressive down the inside, and we have got past Liam Lawson. I do not know how we pulled that off, but we have done onto the penultimate lap of the second sprint race. And we are going to be bouncing back, which is good. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Last lap of the Grand Prix. Okay, good little exit. Check of flags waiting for us. There it is. Superb driving. That's the race win. Jack Aitken takes home driver of the day, and we pick up the we pick up victory in the second sprint so race.
an amazing race today and a very well-deserved one too. The team worked very hard to get exactly the right setup out of the F2 car. It works for them and the results speak for themselves. ARTGP winners today. <coughs> takes the lead for the Drivers' Championship. And now a look at the team standings. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. Another team that will be satisfied with this race is Sharus, whose good result moves them further up in the championship. There will be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you'll join us at the next race when Formula 2 returns. Well, there we are then, guys. We win the second sprint race. Liam Lawson in second. Uh, Liam Zendeli 3rd, Enzo Fittipaldi 4th, Richard Vashore 6th, Yuri Vips, Richard Vashore 5th, Yuri Vips 6th, Os Oscar Piastri in 7th, uh, Ben Viscal in 8th, Tio Porcher in 9th, uh, Jack Aitken in 10th, Dan Tictum, Robert Dan, Dan Tictum in 11th, Robert Schwartzman 12th, 12th, David Beckman 13th, uh, Felipe Dragovic 14th, Guan Yu Zhou 15th, Marina Sato 16th, Gian Darubula 17th, Marcus Armstrong 18th, Guillaume Samaya 19th, Roy Nassari, Nassani in 20th, Ralph Boschong 21st and Alessio Deleda in 22nd. So looking at the um, looking at the driver's standings we take the lead uh, so we overtake um, our teammate Tio Porcher. Um, Liam Zendeli jumps up to fourth, Yuri Vips jumps up to fifth, and Oscar Piastri drops to sixth, and Enzo Fittipaldi drops to seventh. Uh, uh, and Sharus jump, jump up to sixth in the standings, while Campos Racing drop down to seventh, and Carlin and Uni Virtuosi still yet to score points. We still lead the way in the constructors. But, anyways, let's get into the final race of the episode the feature race round Baku for the third and final time let's see if we can have a good result here we go seven laps this time let's see what we can do welcome back to Baku we're on the edge of the Caspian Sea in a bustling vibrant capital which once again plays host to the spectacle of Formula 2 This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. Joining me today is a man who is no stranger to going fast, Davide Valsecchi of GP2 2012 fame. Great to have you here today, Davide. Are you enjoying yourself here in the beautiful city of Baku? Absolutely, Alex. Baku is fantastic. It's so distracted. Have a check. The architecture, the narrow street. Easy to see why it's one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar. But, Alex, street circuits can be unforgiving. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a safety car or two out during today's race. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's results with a look at the starting point. Alessio Deleda starts from pole position, and talented Dutch driver Ben Viscal completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Zendeli, Lawson, Richard Bashur, and Piastri. Vips, Viscal, Beckman, Teo Porcher, Schwartzman, Tictor, Felipe Dragovic, and Aitken, Sata, Lunga. Deruva and Guan Yu Zhou. Armstrong, Samaya, Nissan, and Ralph Boschon completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Alright then, let's get into it. Here we go then, right for the final time in Baku. Lights out and away we go for the final time in Baku. 
Oh, oh my gosh. giving us Schwartzman not willing to back down our former teammate oh can't move oh my gosh oh right let's not go down the inside shall we There's actually quite a big lock up from our teammate TO4 chair there. Oh my gosh. Right. Okay. So we're past a whole bunch of cars, which is good. Right, can we get past Yuri Vips now? Go down the inside. Oh my gosh. Right, okay. Right. Okay. Right, we're past Yuri Vips now, which is good. Let's see if we can get past. Viscal, so we can close up the gap to him. Okay. Oh no. Oh, damn it. Right, okay, let's give that another try. Hasn't been a great start, has it? Scow now. Let's see if we can close up the gap to to 2021 F 
F2 champion in real life, Oscar Piastri. Right, here we go. Here we go, 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 go. Right. Leading the championship as things stand, which is good. We are definitely closing, closing in on, on young Oscar Piastri. Of course, going to be the reserve driver at Renault. I wonder if he'll get the chance in uh, in F1 for 2023. That would be pretty cool. Oh gosh. Australian, Mr. Oscar Piastri. Well, I thought about going down the inside, but I thought, no, we, no, not yet. Just got to be patient. Purple first and second sector. Okay. About to start the third lap. Here we go. Alessio Deleda has put in the quickest lap of the race, but we are going to go faster than him. Great work. That's a new lap of the race. And I was way too late on the brakes, right. to get DRS but so is Oscar Piastri Piastri giving us no room whatsoever. Right, okay, let's yeah, let's not go for an overtake. Ah, oh. right, come on. Piastri, come on, man. Right, surely, okay. Good idea, but we didn't really want to hit the wall, did we? Let's 
see if we can close the gap up to Richard for sure. Okay. Big send on Richard for sure, and we've got past him, which is good. I've got 
got to say, I really do like Liam Lawson's car. Um, the, uh, his high-tech GP car, really, really nice. Side. Come on, get on the power. We give him an, did we give him enough space? Oh yeah, more more than enough. Brilliant. Right, so we got Liam Zendeli and Enzo Fittipaldi up next. potentially can we potentially snatch a podium away from Zendeli right we've already take, overtaken one MP motorsport car can we in uh, Richard Shaw I believe it was can we overtake the other right here we go start the final lap of the Grand Prix guys
down the inside. Oh. Oh. That was a big whack into the wall. Give that another try. I couldn't quite close up to um, Zendeli, but we take P4, that's a good result. Very good result in the final race around Baku.
So then, it's time to see how this result affects the driver's chance. It's a good result for Christian Lundgaard, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. And here's how things are shaping up in the team's championship. It was a tough race for our championship leaders, who lose ground at the top of the table. Another team that will be satisfied with this race is Charus, whose good result moves them further up in the championship. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Well, there we are then, guys. <clears throat> Alessio Deleda wins the third and final feature race in uh, in uh, in Baku. Enzo Fittipaldi second, Liam Zendelli third. We just missed out on the podium. We finished fourth, and we get so we get 14 points plus an extra one, so 15 in total. For the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, Liam Zende uh, Liam Lawson in fifth, Richard Vassour sixth. Oscar Piastri in 7th, Yuri Vips in 8th, David Beckman 9th, Tio Porcher in 10th, Robert Schwartzman 11th, Marina Sato in 12th, Dan Tickton 13th, uh, Felipe Draugovic 14th, Jack Aitken 15th, Gian Darubula 16th, Marcus Armstrong 17th, Guan Yu Zhou in 18th, Ralph Boschong 19th, Guillaume Samaya 19th, Roy Nassani in 20. In in uh, 21st and Ben Viscal in 22nd. But before we go, we will we'll have a look at the standings. We extend Tio Porcher drops down to fourth after this result. Enzo and Li and he has jumped by Liam Zendeli and Liam Zendeli and Enzo Fittipaldi. Uh, as well as also dropping down, Oscar Piastri drops down to fifth. Yuri Vips jumps up to sixth. Liam Lawson. Uh, yeah, Liam Lawson, Ben Viscal drops down to 7th. Liam Lawson jumps up to 8th with David Beckman in ninth. So we're 87 points clear at the top. At the top, But in terms of the standings, MP Motorsport jumped to 2nd. High Tech GP dropped to 3rd. Sharouche jump up to 4th. Trident and Trident drop down to 6th. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe for more. And I will see you guys for for the fourth race of the Formula 2 career mode. That's right, we are heading to Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. So yeah, you guys do not want to miss that.